Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Speed Super Sick here, because I went to Florida this past weekend, and naturally, I got sick. Yeah, guys, I don't feel too great right now, but we have Sonic news to talk about. And I love Sonic, and Sonic is more important than my health. So that's why I'm here today. We finally have some new Sonic Frontiers news to, to talk about. In fact, this is comic book related, and if you follow this channel, you know we don't do too much comic book related things, but that all changes today because we finally have some comic book related content to talk about in relation to the upcoming Sonic game, Sonic Frontiers, which is so freaking close, by the way. I think the day I left for Florida, it was announced that Sonic Frontiers Prologue Convergence would be coming out today. People are a little bit confused because earlier this year it was announced that there would be an anime thing called Sonic Prologue, but we received part one of Sonic Frontiers Prologue Convergence. Crazy name. It's only like four pages long. I haven't read through it yet, so what we're gonna do today is do a mini, like, sick comic dub. And then we'll talk about it, break it down, take a look at all the little references that might be in there, what it could be setting up for Sonic Frontiers, and how this will tie into the upcoming Sonic Frontiers Prologue animated short that will be coming at some point, I'm assuming. Without any further ado, let's dive into Sonic Frontiers Prologue and see what it's all about. This is all in like a tweet, so we'll be reading it from there. I thought this was gonna be like some digital thing that I'd be able to find on a website, but they just put this on Twitter. It goes, Sonic Frontiers Prologue Convergence Part 1. The team goes up to bat against Eggman, but not everything is as it seems. Get ready for my amazing, sick voices, guys. Sonic and Tails are in the tornado before Tails says, Amy said she met us on the island up ahead ETA, five minutes. That's my Tails impression, guys. Better make an emergency landing, Tails. Oh gosh, we're doing great here. Sonic looks down on the island where he sees Amy going against a bunch of robots because it looks like she could use some help. And you can see Amy down here going against a couple crab meats and crab meat variants, it appears, that I don't think are in any other games unless I'm mistaken, as well as this big crab robot. Sonic and Tails are here! Your chances of meeting me just went from slim to none, Eggman! As we see Amy taking down a couple badniks, whereas there's this sound effect coming from the big Eggman crab robot saying, get a load of this, which is obviously a reference to Sonic Adventure 1. We're in the final battle of Sonic Story, Eggman has like all those famous catchphrases. Get a load of this! And on the next page, there's immediately another one that says, No way, I can't believe this, which is another line from that same boss battle. No way! I can't believe ah! Where Sonic attacks Eggman. Did he save any of the small fry for me? Sorry, that's the last one, Amy says. All systems, full power. So I guess all of the, the, the lines that Eggman has are just simply from Sonic Adventure. All systems, full power! Her, yeah. Don't hog all the fun, I'm guessing Sonic sings. Big girl boss energy. Then Tails arrives with his big wrench. What's he gonna do with that? No way, I can't believe this. Another line. Okay, okay I get it. it. Tails then uses his wrench to unscrew some bolts where he says, ha, as one of the arms is removed from Eggman's robot. Time for a change of pace. Another line. Hold up, I've heard all this mad ranting before. Sonic calling back to all of these lines being from Sonic Adventure. Let's wrap this up quickly, any ideas? Tails, let's take out the front line. Legs. Amy and Tails then take down some legs, and as Sonic goes to attack the, the window where Eggman would be, Sonic says, What? That's not Eggman! And that's it. That's where it ends. So yeah guys, that was Sonic Frontiers Prologue Convergence Part 1. That's too much of a mouthful, Sega. You guys gotta work on your naming game. I hope you guys enjoyed my impressions pretty great. So obviously this being part one of this mini comic series, it's going to lead into more stories and more adventures and more mysteries on and what that cliffhanger leaves off, whether we'll get that tomorrow or whether we'll get that in a couple days or in a week from now. We'll have to wait and see. But the biggest line to take away from this is the fact that Sonic says, well, that's not Eggman. Even though Eggman's arm is sticking out of the machine, that makes me interested in seeing who it could be, what it can be. We know in Sonic Frontiers, Eggman winds up in cyberspace. Somehow, he's gonna have some kind of influence in the game. And the main thing I think everyone's gonna take away from this is the references to Sonic Adventure 1, with all of those lines being from, I believe, the Egg Viper boss fight. I think that's the name of it. I got it right. See, I know my stuff. What I kind of like about that is like, it could have just been, oh, a reference to something I know and like from when I was a kid. No, it's like, actually, it services the story in some way. If this isn't Eggman, they're using voice clips or, or somebody's influencing something. It services the story and I like that. Why this is happening and how this is happening is kind of weird though. This clearly takes place on Sonic's world, Sonic's planet. So something clearly has to happen. So there's something already fishy and weird going on on Sonic's world before they even get to the Starfall Islands. As we know, there's a larger threat in Sonic Frontiers. You got Sage, you got all of the Titans. Is Eggman in behind this some way? I'm, I'm sure he's influenced something to happen. And obviously, while I can't predict or say exactly what it is, because it leaves us on a cliffhanger for a reason, 
I think there's a larger threat that will drive them to going to the Starfall Islands. I don't think they're just going to stumble across it. Now, this is cool, though. It got the characters down right. It's very similar to the IDW comics. I believe this is by the people who do the IDW comics, just not from IDW. The characters were written well. A lot of Amy in this one, which is cool. It's clear that she's going to get a big spotlight in Sonic Frontiers in some way. And this is only two parts, so we only have one more after this, so we get a total of, like, what, eight pages? This isn't very long. It isn't very lengthy. I would have liked if IDW did a proper, like, full Sonic Frontiers prologue comic book, or at least like a mini series. I think that would have been much better than dumping these on Twitter. Sonic Frontiers is coming in under a month. We have this on November 8th, and it's like, what, October 18th? We're very close to this thing. I'm very happy that Sonic Frontiers has been able to turn itself around. It's just still, some of the marketing is very confusing to me. There's no real proper promotion, such as billboards, magazines, anything like that, going around right now. I'm not seeing commercials for it in America. There's like no merchandise at all. And it seems like what we're getting is really a digital comic book that is dumped on Twitter and a animated prologue which we got a second teaser to which is really just an animated still where they just put in lightning and after effects. We could very well get part two to this tomorrow or by the end of the week because if they wait an entire week and they drop this on like the 25th uh, there will only be like two weeks until the game drops and then you already have to drop the animated prologue which has been teased which we've heard nothing about yet which I'm sure we'll get but I still don't know where that thing is. Chari5 I think is his name made a really good video talking about all of these Sonic prologues we've been getting from these past games, like Sonic Forces had it, Lost World had it, other pieces of Sonic games and media have had these prologues of sorts. And they kind of act like an excuse for the game not properly diving into all of the elements that should probably be in the story. I have a lot of faith in the Sonic Frontier story, so that's not me trying to say that I think it's going to be lazy or that this will fill in gaps that aren't there. I'm all for more media and more content, but it's like this is just kind of different. These prologues feel like they're going to be necessary going in to Sonic Frontiers. And if you're going to do that, I feel like at least do it in a, like a better way like a proper idw mini series or something like that but uh, not a lot of sonic games get stuff like that so it's whatever i mean i wish i could say man this is awesome i love this so much i have to wait to see part two this feels like a part of a scene to an actual comic book maybe part two could come along and be like significantly larger than part one and give us stuff but i think it's really just going to tell us what happened to eggman and then uh, maybe transition into the prologue animated short I, well, the names are so confusing i'm sorry which i don't know how long that thing is going to be or when we're going to get that thing so we'll have to wait and see for that but that all being said that was sonic frontiers prologue convergence part one that's what i thought of it that's my review i hope we'll get part two very very soon so we can have some time to maybe get some more frontiers game trailers the actual animated prologue itself i feel like the marketing should be speeding up a little bit but it's, anything is like kind of slowed down over the past few weeks so i i, I enjoyed this i'm excited to see the rest of it there's nothing bad here there's nothing wonky here it's just you know it's very short but let me know what you thought or did you like the first part of sonic frontiers prologue convergence let me know in the comment section down below and what do you hope to see in part two what do you think happened to eggman feel free to follow my social media links to my twitter and instagram are in the description below you can follow those points these look my life which got and all things sonic the hedgehog but most importantly if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe this is the number one destination on youtube for all things sonic whether it's video games tv shows movies comic books merchandise and more we talk about it all there's never been a better time to be a sonic fan i love you all so much and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out